the driver era. Welcome to Much Music. Much music. Yeah. How yeah. are you guys? Doing great. How are you doing? Doing great too. Sweet. How you guys just came off stage. Yeah. And how are you guys feeling? Incredible. You guys had such a great set. We watched it. Thank you. You watched it? Yeah. Yeah. We were like we were watching on the TV right here. Oh really? Yeah. No way. We had like a little TV back here? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Watch Tom Tom O'Dell right now. Yeah. Oh, is he on right now? Like five thirty five maybe. Oh, this guy's like, go, let me go right now. <laughs> Tom's great. Yeah, he is. Big Tom fan. But before you guys went on stage, I want to ask you, what was your like pre-festival warm-up? Do you guys have any things that you do right before getting on stage and getting ready? Yeah, recently we've been singing together, a cappella. We do some harmonies. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we just Your like, music or other people's music? Do we usually practice? sing songs that we're going to sing. Okay. Just so, like kind of getting connected and right. warm up the vocals. Right. Uh, right before this set, I didn't do much actually. Like I would like normally we'll kind of like huddle and stuff, but on this like it was just like our, our crew guys that came over was like, "Hey, like one of your guitars isn't working." I was like, "I, right, I'll just use one." And then like they're like messing with the keys and then it was just like, "Hey, you got to go on." So we just like it was just fast. Uh, but I had fun. I enjoyed the set. Uh, it's always nice to see like a pretty decent sized crowd if you're playing early. And it so. seemed very high energy too from like yeah. you guys were sweating, you guys were like yeah. running around doing your thing. I was like, dang. We're like the we're like the brunch band. <laughs> it's kinda sick. <laughs> we're the brunch, brunch band. band. Like ev yeah, everyone's got their uh What's it called? <laughs> the fucking lemon juice and champagne. Oh yeah, the Aperol oh, Spritz. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, orange juice. You guys orange all have juice. your drinks and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love it. Do you guys have any superstitions like before you go perform? Not really. No. Do you have yeah. any? No, it's like this. Like, I'm like anti superstition. Like you know, people won't cheers people if they have water. Right. Yeah. It's like I almost am like I'll cheers you with my water. Right. Because it's like. You do the opposite. Yeah, I'm like, what? Or like walk under yeah. a ladder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kick that ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Break yeah. a mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Just because you have to. Exactly. Exactly. No, I'm the same way, actually. I like doing the, the contrary to a superstition. Yeah. It's kind of fun. That is fun. What is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you guys on stage? Oh. Whether that be something that happened on the stage or whether that be like a fan moment where you were like, I can't believe this happened. That's probably the craziest thing for me. We were playing Argentina about six years ago mm -hmm. and uh, it was the very first song and I was really excited uh -huh. <laughs> and I walked up to the front of the stage and I was like hip thrusting and I hip thrusted myself off the stage <laughs> I fell and because there was a there's like a barrier there's usually a barrier yeah and it was about five feet oh, no. so I was gonna smack the barrier so I was like fuck it and I jumped you crowd surfed no oh I got it's swallowed like zombie apocalypse. Just like it was really bad what was down there people <laughs> oh yeah and it was just yeah it was like a zombie apocalypse there's a hilarious out? photo of me and there's like hands on my face like this and I'm like gasping for air it's so oh, funny. no we have to find it they took all my jewelry there was like a bunch of dudes trying to make out with me what it's great it was great it was great <laughs> I, I got like basically eaten alive but it was great <laughs> it was funny there's some great photos of that and the funniest part is too we had a tour photographer oh yes and he forgot to press record. Yeah, he's like filming oh, the whole thing. Oh no. He's like filming the whole thing and he like completely missed it? Yep. Oh no. At least there's that one photo of you. It's so funny. Yeah. I'm excited to go like search it up specifically. You said Argentina? Yeah. Amazing. I'm gonna look for it. Yeah. Um just want to ask you, what is the experience performing at a festival versus like your own concert? Is there any sorry, there's like a B. So oh, good. Okay, just one away. Oh B hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, no, honestly. Eh. Like, are there any differences we, for you guys? Yeah, yeah like, actually. yeah, yeah. Um, we love playing festivals. Uh, yeah? Yeah, it's like, like a That's lot I've, A lot of most most bands and artists I'm noticing, because we played a lot this year, is they actually play and then they go home. And mm -hmm. we, uh, we are like part of the, the, we're like a band and we're also like with the school. The, the audience we're like we like to run around and enjoy it so we've been doing that all summer um we kind of feel like we belong at festivals now but 
That's good. You guys are like a staple in the lineup. Like yeah. you guys just have to be there because you were saying prior to the cameras rolling, but you guys do bring the vibes. We we're like, trying you guys to, are bringing we're great to, vibes. Like I'm getting energy yeah. off this interview. I'm like, yeah. Wow, <laughs> dang, you 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 as well. No, you bring the vibes. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, but no, yeah. It, vibes. If you're, if you're playing your own headlining show, like when we were in Europe, we did like a bunch of different festivals, and then we went to Germany and did three headlining shows. Right. And they were actually crazy. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of times the German crowd, like sometimes they might be a little more like laid back. But I feel like we were playing in South America, in Germany, because it, they were going, it was crazy. Yeah. We kept adding songs to the set. We just kept like extending it. Like literally the, thir the third show in Germany, Ross was like, let's add another song. And like our bass player, Riker, he was just like, no. He's like, I'm done. Yeah. And we're over here like, what? Like, yeah, so, you're like, I just want to stay here yeah. forever. Yeah, Wait, so, how many songs did we actually add? We added like six or seven. Probably. Just like, yeah, mid-set. Just like, someone was just calling out. Like, Let's yeah. go. That's awesome. Well, speaking the of... the energy was contagious. It was so good. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Energy is always that way. Energy is so contagious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it is. Yeah. Well, speaking of you guys belonging at festivals, right? What has been your biggest fan moment maybe at this festival or at any festival oh, where yeah, yeah. you've had I got you. like maybe you've had an interaction with an artist that you guys admire yeah. as a fan yeah we were uh we played in mexico city and we, we actually grew up with becky g yeah so like we were watching we her set her for like yeah. 10 over 10 years yeah. we were watching her set i love her uh, she's, great, yeah. she's so good and will i am like just pull up side stage <laughs> and like I, we, we, Black Eyed Peas just played, so like he came pull up right next to us, and I was, just, I was just like, yo, what up, bro? Like, good set, my guy. <laughs> no way. Yeah, and honestly, he's, were you guys in awe like of him? Yeah, he's yeah. he's for sure like, uh, you know, if I had to pick some producers that I really uh, appreciate, I would say he's right. definitely up there. So yeah. right. American Boy is one of the oh best songs ever. Absolutely, my Absolutely. guy. Thank you, Ry. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, we saw Billie Eilish yesterday. <laughs> Did you guys? Yes. Like behind the behind stage? No, no, we were oh, just in like the VIP in, section. In VIP, yeah. yeah, and it was incredible. That was, she was, I mean, oh. she was I amazing. She was, yeah. I'm really happy that you guys are actually enjoying the festival as much as like. Oh, it's we our are, favorite. Yeah. You're like going and enjoying yeah. the vibes and mm -hmm. everything. Game I thought, tape, baby. Well, it's yeah. yes, it's, yeah, exactly. Study. <laughs> it's game tape, you know. We study out here. <laughs> no, it's it's really cool when you see an artist, so rightfully. Um, idolized, I guess is the right word. Right. Like, like, especially yet. I mean, obviously, I've always been about Billy Eilish fan, but especially yesterday, I was like, oh wow, you're incredible. I get it. Right. Ocean Eyes is like an amazing top song. tier. Like right, top when, tier. right when they started playing that, you're just like, oh yeah, that's right. Which, it's like when we saw Rosalia in France at Lollapalooza. Yeah, that's awesome. It was like, oh yeah, you're a superstar. It was so cool. Yeah, and you guys are too. Oh thanks. Yeah. Well, speaking of all these stars, just want to ask you, who is the most famous person you guys have on your phone? Ross Lynch. No. Yes. Um. No way. What? Who, that's, that's awesome. I don't. Who else would I have in there? Know. Yeah, probably Ross Lynch. Do you have you met him? No. No. Laura Morano. Oh. <laughs> probably. I don't, I don't think I have Laura's number, so. You don't. Or else I would pick her over you. <laughs> Damn, bro. I see how it is. <laughs> no, she's a honestly my favorite thing about Laura is you can call her anytime, and she's so down to chat. So Aww. Like no, she doesn't have a flip phone anymore. <laughs> no, sometimes me and Laura will just call each other for a few hours. It's great. If you call we her right now, a... you would she answer? Or would she oh, decline? for sure. I feel like always whenever I, like that question comes up, where it's like, what friend would you call and they'll answer? I know. I think Laura like, would should answer. You, should you just call her like see what happens? Low key, I'm I down. I guess, why not? We pass me we the phone. We have a sec. Low key, see, I'm let's down. Let's see if she actually answers and lives up to this hype that she will answer yeah. anytime you call. I she's feel gonna, like you're starting watch, like a she's gonna fact like, about her. Oh my god! Watch. If she doesn't answer, I'm so sad. Me too. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded. <laughs> she blocked you! <laughs> Damn it. <One>. Laura? <laughs> she's probably on Do Not Disturb or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Wait, I'm, I, I'm going one more time. Wait. Actually, honestly, I should probably start like this and be like, hey, I'm in an interview, so don't say anything bad. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Laura. Come on, Laura. Shoot. It's okay. Maybe she's busy. Maybe she's busy. She's probably writing a song or something. Maybe on stage. Who knows? <laughs> she could be filming something. She's a busy girl. You leave her a voicemail? Yeah, let's leave her a voicemail. <laughs> It's not available. It's rough. The mailbox is full and cannot be <laughs> <laughs>
fine. Damn, we talked it up so yeah. much too. I was like, Laura will Laura. definitely answer. Laura. Okay, well that's Damn. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. This has been much music. Oh, good job, y'all. Thank Thanks you so much. so much, you guys.